hopefully I'll be able to find out um, what I have, even though in my gut <laughs> and everything, um, my instincts telling me, you know, with all this uh, symptoms I've been having, uh, I probably have um, hypothyroid. And I, once I do find out, uh, I'll probably post it up on my vlog channel. And uh, because I'll be, of course, doing mostly vlog uh, with my phone. And that. I'm so glad I don't have to worry about using this to record anymore. Only when I need to do a vlog. And that because it's easy and I just put it on to the computer. And that. But that, with this, with the camera, it's a whole lot easier because I have to do is just take out the SIM card, put it in the back of my computer, and voila. Hey everybody, um, it is Thursday, and uh, I just uh, got done doing a video, and, uh, and the computer's been acting up lately, or just a few minutes ago, so I'm kind of like restarting it, and that, uh, and the... The videos I was doing, and I plus the camera kept on stop recording and everything. So I'm like wondering why. You know, I just got you know a new SIM card like a couple weeks ago, and now I'm able to you know record on it on my new camera. So in about 30 minutes from now, I'm going to go and I'll be heading to my appointment and then when I get out, i um, going to let y'all know what the doctor said because I am pretty sure 100% that I have hypothyroid and that. We'll just wait and see what, you know, results, blood results, um, says in that. And, um, today I didn't even feel like straightening my hair today in that. Just put some hair for his stuff in it, let it air dry in that. And hopefully, once we find out what I have and everything, then hopefully she'll be able to refer me to an endocrinologist and that. So, alrighty. Um, I don't want to talk on here too long, so I'll see y'all in a little bit, I guess. Hey everybody, I am back. And, um, I want to say that even though I'm probably having all this these symptoms and everything and I thought I was pretty sure that um, I was you know or I thought I had hypothyroid but good news is um, everything came back normal and that and um, Maybe it's just, you know, all in my head and uh, at least it's a good thing I don't have hypothyroid and if I did, I'll be going crazy. And um, so later I'm going to go to, back to Walmart, which I had to go get some Epsom salt earlier and that, which I like to add to my bath, else with muscle. And I, or my back is hurting, and hopefully this weekend I get some baking soda, which I love to add to my bath, and, but later I'm going to go to the store, back to Walmart, and get this H, or this 5-HTP, which I was looking on online, on Pinterest, so I'm going to move this over here. That so I can like bring it back up 
you can go back to uh, we're also looking at Pinterest <sighs> so hopefully when I get it um, let's see yeah here it is okay I'm going to read um, what it says good for and it seems like everything that's what uh, for the 5-HTP um, which it helps for metabolic precursor to serotonin which I'm not sure how much serotonin I get and that um, I don't know if she can check like iron levels like but everything you know is pretty normal I guess I take pretty good care of myself you know I make sure I take my vitamins or I eat stuff that has natural vitamins in it you know and um, I was just like feeling tired today <sighs> hopefully when I get the 5 HTP what she told me to get or to try and, um, and it says it helps with appetite sleep memory learning temperature mood cardio function muscle contraction which mostly in my legs and that um, endocrine regulation which I don't know what that is um, behavior like when I get moody and that wound healing, like my hand, <laughs> which I kind of like injure myself a couple days ago trying to cook dinner. And aging, which I noticed that I am too early to be getting wrinkles. I'm not even in my 40s yet. <laughs> so that's, you know, pretty much, I mean, I wish I knew what 5-HTP like has like in certain foods. And that um, I'm gonna look here and tell y'all um, when to take. Let's see when it says to take it. Um, oh, happy pills! <laughs> they got happy pills when you're on your PMS and when on your. Um, I guess when you when premenopause. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, I feel like I need those pills. Look at this. My hair is like going crazy. I don't even have anything in it. <sighs> um, let's see here. I'm gonna read this and see when it says for me to take it. It helps your mood, your sleep, and a lot more. Oh my gosh. I, I wish I would like try this. You know, and not have to worry about like, you know, thinking I had hypothyroid, which I'm pretty sure I thought it says it helps with your mood. Everything, uh, PMS, everything that um, that affects with hypothyroid, and I, even though my thyroid was fine, but just like okay, um. That's basically what it is. Maybe it's just I need, you know, a little boost, if you know what I mean. So, um, let's see. I'm trying to see where it says when to possible side effects, heartburn, stomach pain, nausea, diarrhea. Uh, it's, poss un it's possibly unsafe during uh, pregnancy. Yeah, you don't want to take it when you're pregnant. And that. Um, diet plans, products. Okay. I'm going to look at products. Lit, lit type. I don't know. Um, they got the fast resolve. Fast dissolve. Um, I usually get like uh, stay strong for blues away. I like tea. <laughs> Promotes emotional balance. Damn, I wish they had something like that in stores. Um. Uh, 
Irish babes will hurry up and get home so I can go get this shit. Oh my goodness. It was like almost $9 at Walmart. So I was like, uh, I was like, I don't even have enough money to get it. And I, it's like, geez, you don't even have for a more relaxed mood. Damn, I would have to know like which product, you know, is best for mood and relaxation, which I'll definitely need it. I think I just go to Walmart <laughs> uh, to see when I have this or, you know, I'm going to look it up. Oh, why do I keep on doing this? All right, take the 200 milligram. They got one that's for, oh. That's weird, because it said was $8.88, and now it's showing on here that it's four seventeen. What? Okay, I'm gonna read. Um, Remove health gluten free, which is good. Um, mood and stress. Okay. Um, more. It says suggest you take two capsules daily, preferably at bedtime. Oh. Has a five HTP may reduce drowsiness. Oh, well, this would be actually a good time to go get it. And not um, has no gluten, no yeast, no wheat, no milk or milk tea, whatever. No lactose, no sugar, no preventives. And uh, it says take two early at bedtime may reduce drowsiness. And I tend to. Uh, if they're pregnant or not. Um, I wonder if there's any star rating on this. Because I said it was like free pickup at Walmart. Yeah, I was just there and it's 417. Alright, I'm going to check something else. I know I'm like looking online and I'm just getting so long and I hope it's not boring for y'all but um if anybody you know this might help for anybody out there that has the same issue that I have and I and and if your blood work comes back normal I'm not talking to you Siri if your blood work comes back normal then all you have to do is go try this 5-HTP and uh, and of course I'll tell my babes that uh, it says take it, uh, take two capsules before bed and that, uh, so that would be awesome and uh, that might help me to sleep even though my doctor recommend me to try it because I don't want to try no medication and that, uh, so I mean, if I was actually able to do this makeup look, which I'll have the video up today, and that, so, alrighty then, um, alrighty, um, I hope y'all like this video, and then hope you like my Get Ready With Me video, which is on my beauty channel, don't forget to go over to my beauty channel, and that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel too, and that, and yeah, um, I'll see y'all in the next video.